I have this scary with G's bees is going to go through and I've gone through some of these today and I came back to put some pollen patties in them. They've taken their half of pollen patty since last uh, Saturday or Sunday when we did our last video. And also I'm going to put some more boxes on. Some of them grown up and I'll, I'll show you a few of those. We're just checking patties real quick. It's getting a little late, so we're going to move on. Okay, I'm going to check this double medium box. I was in it earlier today and they do need a pollen patty. So they look like they could use another box. So I'm going to go ahead and put another box on top for them. I'm going to go ahead and put this equal or double deep. Now that I put this other medium on and I do have frames in this, uh, some used frames, some dead out frames that I've got. So they'll have a full 10 frames that are already combs that are already pulled out for them and so it'll give them a good place to lay. Give the queen a good place to lay. So I do need to put a pollen patty on this by the way. There's a frame, two frames of brood right here, so I'm gonna put a pollen patty on that. Got this last one I haven't checked yet. I'm gonna keep these pollen patties on. We are 75 degrees today. I think it got to 78 at one point. So I wanna go ahead and keep their pollen patties on. We are supposed to get some Lows of 28 coming up this week. I think the highs are 50s coming up this week for a couple, three days. So we're gonna keep pollen patties on them, keep sugar cakes on them. And we just put this on. So we're gonna check down here and see how they're doing on the pollen patty real quick. Yeah, they're just about out of that pollen patty. So I'm gonna go ahead and Smoke them off of this. Uh, yeah, that's no, okay. Can you grab onto that and I'll rip it in half? Okay. Put that on them. Let them down. You guys get in there. They have taken all their peppermints. I'm not putting more peppermints on, but I have not seen high beetles at all this time around. So we might put them on next round. But as of now, we're not seeing any. So I'm not going to worry about it today. We did do on this Genius Hive. Looks like they've spread out to about five frames now. So they're really moving along. I can open that up if you want to get a better look at it. There you go. So, yeah. <laughs> so they're starting to take off a little better. She had laid a full frame up and so, and I put a frame in there for them. So she's really kind of spurred on since then.
So we'll probably see how she does and we may bump them up when we do our splits, maybe give her another frame of brood and get that one a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna go on the back row and just get the split row. Got a little pollen patty still left on there. They just chewed through quite a bit of it. I might just give them a piece to go with that one and just small piece. Yeah, it's probably probably paper. Yeah, it's probably trying to get it out of hive. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six frames they're covering now, so we'll keep in them in mind for putting another deep on, but we'll give them just a little bit longer. Let them get about seven frames or so, and then we'll go ahead and put a, another deep on them. We'll keep moving on. Like they're still doing okay on their pollen patty. They're on about three to four frames. Uh, looks like they're out of pollen patty. Just about taking all that sugar down. They're about out of pollen patty also. Like they're on about five frames out of pollen patty and so we'll
uh, let's see, one, two, probably about four frames. They're good on the pollen patty. Looks like they got a little pollen patty. I'll go ahead and give them this piece I've got with me. And they're on about four frames. So we're gonna, when we do some splits, we're gonna definitely look at some of these and maybe give these a little bit of extra help here in a couple of weeks. But I'm gonna get my splits done first and kind of see what brood, what kind of brood I can donate to these guys on this row. And, uh, So we'll go hit the other two yards, and uh, but these are the main ones I wanted to get today because I know they're out of pollen patties. I think the other yards are probably good, but I'll check them. But I wanted to tell you thanks for watching, and uh, we have a lot of activity today. There's lots of things starting to pop out. The redbud trees have just started coming out. And uh, so there, it ought to be a little while. They won't be needing these pollen patties much longer. So, and we can take the sugar off too, but we want to get through the month of March. We're probably this week going to graft some queens and get ready to do some small splits into some nukes. And then when I got, I've got 10 queens ordered, 10 mated queens ordered, and I'm going to, when I, I'll do my main splits off of my production yard, um, probably into 10 frames instead of five, um, then I'll go ahead and use those those that I ordered the Mated Queens coming in. I think they're coming in mid-April, somewhere in that area, first to mid-April. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a few this week and those should be coming off in, you know, I'd say if I make them the next three or four days, we'll have them in about 20 days and we'll do some, some nukes. I'm gonna split off about 10 nukes. So a little five frame nukes for them. I want to give a shout out to Brian at Castle Hives for making me this Roa mite who that is the size it would be on a bee comparably to a human. So it's a human sized uh, Roa mite. So we were talking about it and I thought about taking it out on my next time I do my hive inspections because maybe it'd scare the other mites off. I don't know. Anyway, Brian did a really good job and I just wanted to shout out to him. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat little 3D printed that he makes. So you might holler at him if you're interested in one, but it does really show you how big the mite is comparably on the bee's body. So that's, that's pretty amazing. I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.